In this video, we are sharing with you our pak choy and tat soy harvest from our viral video, How to Build a DIY Aeroponic System that received over 4 million views on Instagram. In part one, we share the DIY build for the system. Part two, we cover the watering setup. Part three, we went over the lighting. Part four, we shared mixing fertilizer. Part five was seed starting. And in part six, we had given an update on the plants. And now it's been a few weeks and it's time to harvest our pak choy and tat soy from the grow system. I start by cutting off the roots. Then I'll remove a lot of these bottom leaves and cut right at the base. Now I'll just repeat the process for each of the pak choy. When I got to the last plant, which was the tat soy, it was by far the largest in the group and I had to use a knife to cut the base. This is everything that I harvested from the system. Each had beautiful stems, leaf development, and coloration. The tat soy almost looked surreal because it was so perfect. I mean, just look at those stems. We harvested five large and a handful of baby pak choy from the system. And I was obsessed with the coloration on the red gem pak choy. And later that day, we enjoyed some of the pak choy for a stir fry. While I enjoyed growing the pak choy in tat soy, I prefer growing Swiss chard, which grows faster and more abundantly in the system. <laughs> 